Somebody's cuddling with mommy this morning. It's a rare thing with this one. What are you doing, baby? What are you doing? She's not feeling good. She's going to the vet today. Yeah. She likes this blanket I'm on because it's like a super comfy, soft blankie. What are you doing, babies? Hmm? What are you doing? You gotta go get all your shots today. Look at her big, hairy ears. She's so funny. Mila. I don't think she knows her name yet. Mila. She's purring. And Nitro's coming to say hi to her. Hi, buddy, Nitro. Mm. All right, that's it. Good morning from the animals. Okay, guys, my candle that I've been burning, I can see that it is ready to get... I don't know if you guys can see it, but right there is the ring or the jewelry that is in here. This is the guava mango. Let me see if this is a ring or what. Um, no, this is not a ring. This is actually, you had a choice to do necklace or an earrings, and I think I picked earrings. So let's see what we get. I'll probably add this into one of my vlogs. <laughs> I have no idea which one. Maybe next time I show you guys my jewel scent candles. There's a key kit. All right, so let's see. I'm guessing they're like studs or something because this is not a very big package. So let's see what we might have. Oh, cute. Okay, so let me this. They look like they're yellow, which is my daughter's birthstone. And that's the code that I'll put it on the website to see what the value of them is. I hope you guys are in frame because I can't really, I can't really see. Mm. This is like all slippery, so I'm just gonna rip it open here instead of trying to get the thing undone. Oh, aren't those cute? Okay, so they are a stud, but they look like they would sort of drop off. Aren't they cute? They're like a little, um, so they're like, like a little teardroppy shape, and then they have like little yellow, pretty glistening stones. Those are really, really cute. Let me see if I can hold them in my hand here a little bit better so you can see them. Is that better? Those are cute. I'm going to give those to her. I think those will be cute. Those are her birthstone. She's a November baby and she's got yellow topaz or citrine or not topaz. She's got citrine. Thanks for watching guys. Hey guys, so I got some new ColourPop items in and I wanted to pop on here really quickly and show you. I got a couple of their uh, their new Jelly Mutt shadows. These are not really new. They're old, but I really find that I love the formula for summer. Some of you have been asking for like some easier looks that you can do. And what I have found with these is I can do one color on my eye and, and, um, and then just smudge some of it underneath my lid and I'm done. Um, and just put some mascara on and go. And it's a really simple, easy summer look. This color here is called Once and Floral. And it's sort of, you can see it's sort of orange and yellow. I'm gonna show you swatches. I already put them on my hand. Oh my gosh, this one's stunning. They're both stunning, the two that I got. So when you open it up, it does say to keep this, to keep your Jelly Mutt shadows nice um, from drying out. So you do want to make sure you put that in there tightly and put the lid in tightly because you wanna make sure that you are, um, that you're not getting an air to it. So keep as much as you can, keep them closed and tight. Mine have not dried out, but I had um, somebody else tell me that theirs did. Then this next one is called No Rest for the Vivid. No Rest for the Vivid. And it's a pink color. And at first I was like, oh, I think I have that. But then when I swatched it, it's a totally, I do have pinks from ColourPop, but this is, it's a totally different one that I have. So you can see it's sort of a, um, it's got the pink top on this one too. And again, your uh, little thing here. So you can see the beautiful color. 
Um, and these are like a really neat formula. They are a cream and then they, they dry down to like a powder finish. They last all day. Like once I put these on, they don't budge. They stay all day and I have a beautiful eye look and I don't have to touch it up or worry about it. So I did swatch both of those for you. So here they are. Once and for all and no rest for the vivid. And actually, I'm gonna bring you in the light and show you. Here we go, that is much better. Look at that stunning, stunning color. So this beautiful pink one's gorgeous for the summer and it's got a purple blue shift to it. And then the, um, the terracotta kind of orange bronze, I mean, wouldn't that be dynamic for, for fall coming up? It's so beautiful, sort of a red and orange, and sort of it looks like it even has like a green, a little bit of like a goldy green type of look. So I love them. I hope you guys like them. I think, oh my God, that pink one and blue. Ooh, that's stunning. So there's those. I'm going to show you a couple more things too. Okay, so ColourPop has a birthday. This is their fifth birthday, and I had gotten their birthday treat color, and then they had a bundle with the four other birthdays they've had, and I wanted to get them because um, the one this year was more of like a corally, corally pinky color, um, and I wanted to get these other colors because they were a little bit more neutral. So this one... Uh, do we have... Well, where's the color? Cruelty free, can't find the color, here we go. This one is birthday cake. This one, birthday boy. Birthday girl. This one looks stunning. Birthday wish and then birthday treat it was this year. So I'm gonna swatch those for you and we'll see what we got. Okay, from the left to right, left being closest to my knuckles, um, we have birthday girl, then we have birthday boy, then I have birthday wish, and birthday cake. I don't know what one's my favorite. I'm gonna come better more in the sun here. Um, they are all so beautiful. The um, the birthday wish, which is the second to last one, is more of a, it's very sheer. It's got a little pink reflect with the gold champagne, and it's more of a, I would say, a topper color. And the, actually, the birthday boy, which is the second shade, also has a little pink in it. You can sort of see it there. Um, and then you've got like a gold and a bronze. So I'm going to come out of the light here and just come over here, see if we can get you guys a better look. That's sort of in natural light. Don't mind my veiny hand, but um, that's sort of in natural light that gives you an idea. So I'll have the bundle. If the bundle's still available, I'll have it listed below for you so you guys can pick these up. But these are beautiful neutrals. We will definitely do a couple eye looks using these and um, mix in with some of our other things. But I think, honestly, probably can do a couple looks just with these alone. So um, if the bundle is no longer available, if they're still available at all, I will put the colors up there and I will have links created for you. But there is the four birthday bundles. And if you've got birthday treat that came out this, I'll put birthday treat two up there too, that came up um, for this year's birthday in case anybody wants to get the full five um, shadows for ColourPop's birthdays. All right, next thing I got in were from Kathleen Light's Zodiac Collection. I did get here the Pisces, the fish pressed powder, as well as the loose pigment, and the loose pigment is called the fish. And these are so cute because when you look at them, look, they've got on the top, they've got like a little design on each of them. They've got the rose gold packaging. So we're first gonna do some swatches just of these powders, and then we'll do the loose pigments because those are, hold on, those are, ah, falling, dropping you. Those are stunning. All right, so anyway, that one closed. So um, then we have the scales and here is that one. It looks like it's got a tiny bit of shimmer in it, not a whole lot. And then we have the loose pigment here, and this is the scales. All right. Then we have Cancer. Um, ooh, okay. That's the crab, the Cancer. And um, what does it say on the bottom of the crab? 
yeah, that's the crab. So, and it's the pretty blue. And these were just some colors I didn't have. And when they came out, I was like, oh, I want to get those because we're going to, I will definitely use those. And I wanted to try them out. So we're going to try those out and do some swatches next. Okay. So I swatched them in this order. So we have the green is Pisces. Then we have Libra and then we have Cancer. So there is, let me come in this way. Look at that. I mean, that's just stunning. Those are gorgeous. So gorgeous. So now we're going to do the coordinating loose pigments next. Okay, so here is what the loose pigments look like. And first I did dry swatches really close. That's beautiful. Really closely in with next to the color. So this is the green uh, Pisces. Then that glitter one next to the green is the scales. So it's the fish, the scales, and then the blue one is the crab. I don't know why we're, there we go. And then next to them, you have their coordinating powders. So these are just dry. I mean, and if I move you over here, maybe you can see a little bit better. Um, so these are just dry pigments. I did not get them wet. I mean, this one almost, that's just that's so gorgeous. These are beautiful, beautiful. So next I'm gonna do wet swatches of the loose pigments because I want you to see how they change. I'm gonna keep these on here for reference. Okay, here they are wet. If you put a little water with them, move them over here so you can see there's the fish, the scales, the crab. I mean, the reflect on these guys is gorgeous. So there are all the colors, all the swatches. These, are, these ones are still drying. And look at the difference sort of between that and like the dry one. It looks like almost more limey if it's dry, which I like, um, but there are the colors. I think they're just so, so pretty. I gotta watch my hand. I, my arm has glitter everywhere. All right, so here's the beginning of the organization. These are my bathing suits. I have my socks and down here underwear and bra, some bras. And this is a bag of old like bathing suits and things that don't fit, don't like and are going in the Goodwill pile. We're gonna go drawer by drawer. Hey guys, I thought I'd pop in. Look who I got. This is Gizmo. Oh, when Gizmo gets crazy like this, usually she's either gotta go to the bathroom or she's hungry. So I'm gonna put some footage in here of what what we, the a video of Robert. She, this little Gizmo was found outside. She was a feral kitty. She's really little but she is 12 weeks old. She was very malnourished to the point of, I mean, honestly, starvation, her bones are sticking out. We've had her about a week now or just over. She has wobbly head syndrome. So you're gonna see her head go back and forth a lot. Sometimes it just sort of bobbles. It's real bad when she eats and I'll, I'll put video, but I wanna show you the video. It's sad, uh, Robert trying to get her and her falling. And uh, when they were outside and saw that she was handicapped, she was fairly easy to catch. She would run and fall down, run and fall down. and. So we connected with some shelters. We ran a fundraiser on Facebook and I'm updating people on Facebook as well as on um, Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram, get uh, if you do, you'll get flooded with baby gizmo um, photos and videos, but she is a handicapped little kitty. Now CH syndrome, otherwise known as wobbly head syndrome is a virus that is passed on from the mother and it is from unvaccinated moms. I've done some research on it so she has a part of her cerebellum um, that did not fully develop and it causes her to have no balance and her head goes back and forth it makes it difficult to eat she'll always have special always be a special need kitty but she is not in any pain she doesn't know no different she can't jump like normal cats you have to be careful what with her because she can get hurt and bump into things and fall off things very easy um, i'm watching her around the other animals so far we have three animals on board with her two that aren't so sure about her yet um, because uh, one of the shelter ladies told me that if she if they sense a weakness in her, they may hurt her. So we, um, with the help of the shelter, got her into the vet. They checked her out for all other diseases, besides being loaded with mites and parasites, um, and having and being formally diagnosed with CH syndrome. There goes her head. She um, she is perfectly healthy. And she may somewhat get better and improve a little bit as she gets older, but she is always going to be a special need kitty. She sometimes falls down when she's going to the bathroom, loses her balance, and will fall in her poop. And you, I've got a stack of baby wipes here because we just had a little mess 
on her paws with Poopy and I had to clean her up. She's the sweetest baby cat you have ever seen. So I'll put some video of her throughout this vlog. Um, I'm, I happen to be home today because my medical procedure is tomorrow and I have to drink a bunch of like clear liquids and a bunch of crap starting at three o'clock. So, um, so you're probably going to be seeing a lot of Gizmo in my upcoming videos. Gizmo, for being feral, she knows she's saved. She knows she's happy. She is uh, the most cutest little cuddle pumpkin you've ever had. I mean, she just, you pick her up and she just begins purring and purring and she just, she just loves being held. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? What are you doing, hmm? She's so cute. We named her Gizmo because her ears are huge compared to her little tiny body. And sometimes they kind of go flat down and she just looked like a little gremlin, so we named her we named her Gizmo. So she thinks she's beautiful and pink, and I agree. Um, the Nitro loves her. He'll sit by her and kind of protect her every once in a while, turn around and give her kisses. She was afraid of him at first, but I think she knows they're not going to hurt her either. She's been pretty good with them. And yesterday, for the first time, she started to... Um, like rub her head up against us and push her tiny little body. She's only one pound. She's a third of the body weight she should be for a three month old cat. So yeah, so anyway, so you're gonna probably see lots of baby gizmo. Right, baby gizmo? You're such a sweet, sweet girl. So we've gotta keep her six weeks. We're gonna get her all her shots, get her up to date, get her spayer uh spayed. And then um I don't know. I, I, you know, I, I don't know that we can continue to keep a special needs cat because Robert and I both work during the day. We may end up having to adopt her out to a family that can be around and really just keep her safe all day. Um, my friend at Smitty's Cat Rescue, by the way, I have her donation and I haven't been able to, uh, I keep forgetting every time I'm over there to give it to her. So we raised a hundred dollars for Smitty's Cat Shelter. So yay. Um, so that'll go, um, that'll go towards food or vet bills or whatever she needs at the moment and then I raised for the fundraiser for Gizmo I had set a goal of 200 and we raised 400 for this little sweet pea so thank you to every one of you that helped a very big special thank you to Stephanie from Unsweet Tea and Me she has her own channel go check her out she sent in $50 for this little pumpkin to be split between the um between Gizmo and also Smitty's Cat Rescue Shelter. So um, we had enough money to pay her first vet bill. We have enough money to get her spayed and neutered and to get all of her shots um, and any kind of special care that she's going to need. And probably the rest of what's left um, I will take in and just give to Lynn for the shelter. I went in there today just to stop by. <sighs> that poor lady has so many babies in there right now and one of the feral mothers how I found out Lynn didn't want to show me and I didn't want to see it but one of the feral moms killed two of her babies this morning um and there was another mama she kept growling because like Lynn was cleaning the area up and there was another mama in there feeding the remaining babies and I noticed that the feral mom kept trying to get in to get to her babies and the other mom that was nursing the babies kept taking her two paws and pushing the other feral mom out. Lynn said that feral mothers and fathers will kill babies at survival of the fittest. If there's not enough food, they'll kill them. I didn't know that. That made me so very sad. So it's so important, guys, that you get your animals spayed and neutered. We have too many, too many feral cats. This kitty doesn't, she didn't need to have been born with this disability. If that mother, if we could catch that feral mama and get her, um, you know, get her some shots and get her, and get her spayed, she can, she would stop having babies because they're interbreeding, you know, moms and brothers and brothers and sisters, and they're, they're all going to get progressively worse. They're going to have more and more handicapped babies. If we don't get somebody out there to kind of trap them, you know, spay and neuter all the cats and then do, and then release them back into the feral community. So we are working on that, <laughs> sweetie. We are working on that, um, trying to figure out when we can do that and see if we can do a drop trap and catch as many of the cats as we can. So anyway, I'm going to hop off of here. I just wanted to share some information and I'll put some videos of her trying to eat. Uh, we're getting some melatonin, which will calm her head down and make her less anxious. Uh, but she's eating well, she's pooping, she's peeing, she's otherwise healthy other than this little disability she's got. So, um, she's just precious. 
she just precious? Look at the face. I mean, really? I mean, how could anybody ever be mean to these babies? I just, it, that's beyond me. Look at her. She's looking at herself. All right, Nitro's fussing. He wanted to go outside and lay in the sunshine. Now he wants to come back in, so I got to get up and disturb little princess over here. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys all that soon. Um, I'm home the next couple of days. I'll try to film as much as I can. I've got um, a collab coming up that uh, is going to go up on Saturday. You might end up seeing that before you see this. This might go up on Sunday. So um, take care, guys. Bye. Hey, bye, kitty. Bye, Gizmo. Yeah. You're lucky cat. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Nobody will hurt you. It's okay. Come here. Come here. It's all right. It's okay. I'm videoing. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. No need to stand up. Just drink your water while you're sleeping, laying down. <laughs> so lay down and eat your food. Good girl. And that issue for me is push-ups. Yes. I mean, I go to the ballot box, who do I think could do more push-ups? And then I, you know, Google photos of them first, I try to zoom in on the arms, and I really, I, so I'm really glad he brought this up. Because if it's true, she's eating out of a jewelry box. I see you, baby girl. Over here, somebody's keeping watch. Okay, she watch her, Robert. She's trying to stand up. Yeah, sit, girly. Use your legs. Stand up. Go forward, not backwards. Mr. Get it. Get that water. Gizmo. Gizmo. Watch her. Watch her. Oh, cat butt. Absurd. I would have preferred when they did this on CNN. Oh, <clears throat> hey guys, it's um Thursday. Uh, yesterday I had to drink a bunch of disgusting fluid for a went on with my hair for a colonoscopy I had to have done. I was having some blood and issues, so sorry if this is a little team I don't eat while you're watching this part. And um, I got sick taking the second prep and threw it all up. I was worried that they were going to have issues with it today, which just made me really sick. But I've been having issues like when I eat, I've been feeling pain in my stomach. My makeup's everywhere because I just fell asleep for a couple hours. The anesthesia made me kind of, I don't know, just wore me out. And um, so today I had to go in for the procedure. So Robert took me in and he had to stay while I... Got that done, and for some reason, I felt nervous about this one. I had one 10 years ago, and it was completely normal, and I was fine. I knew I wasn't fine this time, which is probably why I felt nervous about the whole thing. So, when he, the doctor came in, I don't know if it's serious or not. I, I should have probably asked that, but I was still, like, waking up. I'm not sure what was going on. I have something called inflammatory bowel disease, and... He said it's mild. He said it's not bad. I said, can it go away? He goes, it could go like up and down where it's like worse sometimes, better other times. It could go away on its own. Um, they're giving me, he's calling me some prescription in to, um, the, I don't know, I don't even know what it is. I think he said I had suppositories, which I think go any 
in other regions, don't they? But I think he said I was going to take them through the mouth. I'm almost positive. But again, I could be sorely mistaken because of the state I was in. So when I was set up, my oh my God, my belly hurt so bad. You know, they sit there and they tell you to fart. And I don't fart in front of people. I don't ever fart in front of Robert because he hates it. Um, even though I know it's a normal part of life. And my sisters, some of them will just fart away. They don't care. Um, and I couldn't, I had to, I, I was in so much pain and I was like apologizing to the poor nurse who was in there. She goes, honey, we do this all day. This, we listen to this all day long. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I feel so embarrassed. She goes, no, 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 no. We clap here for farts. I'm like, oh my God. Okay. Okay. So she gave me a little water. Now you got to realize I have nothing in my system after this, you know, like my intestines are completely empty. So I'm walking to the car and they, they, well, they wheeled me to the car. I stand up from the car to get in the vehicle. I sit down, thought I had gas because I had pain in my stomach. And that water that I had that right afterwards went right through. And I had to sit in that on the way home. And I was so mortified. Robert was so good with me. He's like, it's okay, honey. It's okay. I was like, I, I was just, oh God, I was so, so humiliated. So humiliated. Thank God I've been with Robert like almost seven years because he... He was wonderful um, about the whole thing. And I came home and I crashed for like two hours straight. Um, I need to go upstairs. I need to take care of the baby kitty. Um, Mila, my other kitty, who comes from that same like feral community that we, we got Mila from when she was a little puffball, we got her. Um, she is not liking the new baby kitty. She hisses at her if she sees a, sees a baby. She's been mad at us. Every night, usually when we go to bed, she runs up the stairs, goes in there, comes right in the bathroom because she, she wants to eat. And she hasn't come into our bedroom for like three or four days now. I finally got Robert. She was clawing and yelling at him. And she he picked her up. He's like, you're coming in here to eat. He put her in the bathroom with her food and he shut the door. And she ate like she hadn't eaten for a week. And she might not have eaten for a week. And I'm not sure if Taz is eating because we have food in both bathrooms. So... We have a litter box in one bathroom, our bathroom, and food and water for the cats. And then we have it in the hallway upstairs bathroom, like the kids' bathroom, too. So if they didn't want to come in ours, they can go in the hallway one. So they probably were doing that. So she was all pissed off and growling at him and yelling at him because she didn't want to go in there with the other cat. And she did go in there, though, and eat. And I came in there, and she was talking to me. She was meowing at me. And rolling up all on me and cuddling and she was being a little bit more back to her normal self. She still wants nothing to do with Gizmo. Um, Gizmo is seems to be having some breathing issues where he like starts making this like choking noise every once in a while, like he's struggling to breathe. Almost like if a cat had, could have sleep apnea, because it happens while he's sleeping, and I have to get him out and wake him up, and he's like <coughs> he's doing that and like he can't breathe I don't I'm really worried about it because obviously I'm not home with him enough and um so I'm gonna talk to the vet I go I go up there Saturday with two of the cats so I'm gonna talk to them about Gizmo and what's going on with that too and possibly bring um that little guy back in because I think his next appointment's not for like six more weeks so um yeah so anyway I'm feeling fine right now my stomach is feeling better I still have my little um wristbands on the red one is an allergy i'm allergic to sulfur on that out the hard way or sulfa sulfa uh so i'm i just ate a donut i don't even care i don't even care that that's not healthy robert bought crispy cream donuts on the way home and they were hot off of the oven i don't know if all of you guys have crispy cream i don't think they're in every state but they make them at the store and they come hot out of, of whatever. They come right out hot on these trays and they like dump the glaze on them. So you can buy them. They have a sign in the window that when they're hot and Robert saw it, stopped it and got some. I couldn't eat one on the way home. I was so tired and I felt so terrible and I just wanted to get home and sleep. But then when I woke up and I was hungry, I was like, I'm eating a donut. So there. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I wanted to give you guys an update. I haven't done much vlogging today because yesterday I couldn't having to take that stuff and it made me sick. And so he did say that like, because I told him, is that why my stomach hurt? You know, sometimes after I ate, my stomach was hurting a little bit. And he said, yeah, that's why. Um, I just hope it's something that will go away. So that's, 
that's what I'm concerned about. Is it, and I, he didn't say I had any food restrictions or anything. He's certain whatever the medication is and we'll see what happens. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be restricted from some foods. Um, he did tell me tomorrow, no, he told me today, no acidic foods. So no, like oranges, tomatoes, nothing like that. And, um, no fried foods today either. That donut might have been fried. That's nitro making noises. He's, it's a nice day out there and I'm home. So he wants to go outside. So just want to pop in here and give you guys an update. You, some of you knew I had some stuff going on some health issues. Oh, and when I got in there, I had a fever of 99.3. And last night when I got sick from taking that prep, I told Robert, I'm like, I don't feel good. I think I'm gonna throw up. And sure enough, I went and threw up. And then um, my stomach was hurting last night quite a bit. And my mouth started hurting where I got the tooth removed. They did a bone graft and stuff. And um, I said, I think, and it was hurting like up my jaw. And I said, I think I'm getting after I threw up, I was like, I think I'm getting an infection in my tooth. And so when they told me I had a fever, I told her about my surgery in my mouth last week. And she said, you need, when you get home, I want you to call the dentist and let them know you had a colonoscopy procedure. You have a start of vein infection starting. You're, you're running a small fever. They think it's that. Your mouth's been hurting you. They're probably going to call in some antibiotics for you. So I got to go probably right now and do that. Oh, my birdie. I got hummingbirds up at my hummingbird feeder right now. They're so cute. I got to change their fluid. I, I think you're supposed to change that hummingbird, um, their drink every week. I don't do it every week. Does anybody else? I don't know. Anyway, so I'm not feeling, I'm feeling a little rough. I am looking a little rough. I'm going to, if they said take it easy for the whole day. I was hoping to do some filming. Maybe I can because it's just sort of sitting because I have a collab coming up with um, a special YouTube friend. Um, we're going to be talking about our top five boxes that are our favorite subscription boxes. So I'm pretty excited about that. And we both will have a giveaway in that. So that's really cool. So if this comes up after that, that's going up Saturday. This is probably going to go up Sunday. So if you're watching this, then go back when you're finished and watch the collab video with the five best subscription boxes. Because... I'm going to have a giveaway. Um, it's more of like kind of a beauty giveaway, and so is Kitty. So um, we'll both have one. So you have two chances to win, and if you don't know her, you can subscribe to her as well. I think it's, I think her channel's Kitty's Boxes or something. But anyway, it'll all be in that video. So, and then, so I have that. I got extensions for Trunk Club and Natalie Attired and Stitch Fix, but I still have to have them back by Monday. So Nitro must really have to go outside. What's wrong, buddy? You want to say hi to everyone? Look, see, I ate some of those, too. Don't come up here. You're too big. I can't have you on my stomach. All right, get down. All right, get down. Stop stepping my boobs. All right, so, um, yeah, so anyway, um, I've got extensions on all of those, and i got to get them all done this weekend. I've got Trunk Club, Natalie Attired, and Stitch Fix all here, and then I have my second Nordstrom haul, which is a much smaller haul than the first one you guys saw. Um, I'm just waiting for a pair of shoes. I got one little pair of shoes. I think the jeans were showing up today. And I got one little pair of shoes that didn't come in. I did get some stuff that came in from Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack. I'll add that into the haul. And there might be something else from there coming in that didn't come in yet. Um, I'm not sure. So, um, just checking in. So it is Thursday about 1230 and I'm just starting to get up and around. Oh, Mila's coming by. <clears throat> Mila, Princess Mila. That's what I call her because she thinks she's a princess. That's why she's mad because she's the baby of the family and she's spoiled rotten. Robert totally spoiled her. Like all the other cats eat hard food. Nope. Mila gets soft food because she's the baby and Robert spoils her. And I told him, I said, you do that to her. She's going to A, always have smelly, smelly poop, and B, she's going to expect it. And so sure enough, he just gives it to her at nighttime. She has hard food during the day, but she expects it. So she's pissed because the, the baby kitty has to have soft food. Um, and she has hard food and soft food, but um, she can smell it. She's mad. She's mad the other cat's getting that treatment she used to get. And she's so funny. 
Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out for now. I might come back a little bit because I if I can get up the the energy to walk outside, I want we have a bunch of orange tomatoes. We have a squash. I want to check and see how that squash is doing. I want to show you the progress. I have got to get out there and plant my zinnias and my sunflowers because they're huge. They're, they're too big for the little thing that they're in right now. So I need to transplant those guys, but I don't think I'm going to have the energy to do that today. Um, what I might have the energy to do is put the sprinkler on and water everything. That's what I think I'm going to do. But um, for the most part today, I'm just going to take it easy. I have a book I'm reading um, about positive energy. I need it right now. So I'm going to read that and probably eat more food. That's my plan for the day. I'll see you guys. Bye. Okay, I fixed my eyes some and I put this little pop, little pop, it's quite a large pop of yellow in my eyes, um, but I fixed them a little bit. I'm gonna go take you with me. We're gonna go look at my plants um, because I'm gonna water them and see what they look like. So hold on. All right, so look at tomatoes, tomatoes. Actually, it looks like Robert watered these this morning. I pulled all the tops off of my things, so there's new little buds coming in. So we're getting starting to get some new flowers come in. They're second uh, ones. He, I know he's already pulled off like five tomatoes from our monster plant. <laughs> if we get tomatoes up there, they're gonna fall on somebody's head. Oops, sorry about my fingers. Oh, oh, I almost had, I don't think I got it on tape. Maybe I did. A little hummingbird came in, then he saw me and flew away. Um, so yeah, so that's looking good. Now, down here, these guys are insane. And they're getting, like, they're, they're getting crushed because, like, this one's reaching for the sky. Um, so this one, Robert replanted some of the small tomatoes. That's a tomato there. Um, my zinnias are kind of getting mixed up, but this is a little tomato plant, guys. So he's doing good. Um, oh, that got burned. These are zinnias. These, um, these guys are the big sunflowers. These big tall ones are the sunflowers. Sunflowers. So they like grew like weeds. So now it's time. I'm going to turn them because these guys are probably looking for the sun. Um, so it's time to replant those guys. So now we're going to walk down to the garden. And then I'm going to start, after I look at it, I'm going to go ahead and start the garden. I think we're thinking of this big space. You can see kind of my deck. So we have the big one up there. It's where we normally sit. And then we have all the space. We're thinking a hot tub would go here because somebody put little hot tub lights up. So, um, but we are in that we power wash this deck and we got to stain it first. It's just a massive deck to take care of that. And then of course the fence, the fence is all wood too. There's Robert's crap. So let's go down by our makeshift garden over here. I'll make sure I don't step in any poop. It's just fertilizer, right? Um, but I did want to see what we've got going on here. So he's had to kind of prop some of these babies up. So again, we have a lot of tomatoes. Um, I don't know if any of these, these um, are all green ones. He pulled off a bunch. He put, looks like he put a fence up since I was out here last because the stuff was just falling. Um, but these all are all green. He got all of the, I mean, there's tomatoes everywhere. He got all of them off that were red. So there's a bunch inside. They're, this is the only plant really not doing well, this one on the end for some reason. So I have to be careful because I don't know if you can see this. This whole here thing here is the personal watermelon plant and it's now going over here. So like it's taking over the entire garden and it's covering up my stepping stones. Let me see if I can be careful. Oh, I'm just gonna have to walk. Okay. So I don't know when we're actually going to get little melons on here. I would think any time now they're going to start growing. Um, it's doing amazing. That's like all watermelon right there. So that should, and then this thing, we had a big storm. Look at the size since I showed you guys last. Um, this guy doubled. That's going to be a melon. What is this one? I think this is just squash. Pretty sure this is yeah, there's this thing down there. It's squash. So this is doing really well. So we should start getting soon some squash. So we'll see. I think this is the one that has squash on it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing that well. Or is that a new one? 
Maybe that's a new little squash growing in there. I don't know. Uh, uh, it's old. We, um, yeah, so they're, they're doing good. And again, and then this guy over here is cantaloupe. And it just looks like a pretty vine everywhere. So there's little flowers. Those are cantaloupe flowers. So these should start to grow into some fruit soon. Um, I want to look at some. I think I just saw. Yeah, look right there. The grass is in the way. But this one is starting to turn in. Oh, no, it's not. It was dying. It was starting to turn into a little cantaloupe, but it was, I guess it wasn't doing well. It just fell right off. So, all right, well, we'll see if we get any cantaloupe. We'll see what happens with the squash and the watermelon. I'm assuming we'll get some squash. The plants are thriving. And actually, I mean, the squash is thriving. Look at it. It's growing up the wall there. The watermelon, I got to be careful because the watermelon is just taking over the garden. Good thing we left room. I was actually thinking of doing like a third row and it's a really good thing we did not. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just checking for poop. This, the dog sometimes poop over here. Um, I think he's got, oh, okay, I see where it is. All right, I'm gonna turn it on and see what happens. I don't know if it's in position, the sprinkler. I might have to go back out there and change it. So, oh, over this area I was showing you on our deck too, where we're thinking of doing the, uh, putting a hot tub out here. I'm also thinking of getting like a nice canopy because the area is really big. Oh, okay, he's got the, all right, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so you can see it's sort of one of those spitter ones. And I think it's in a fine location because the water rolls down the hill, so it'll be just fine. Okay, so yeah, I think on the on the um, deck here, we're gonna, I was, I've been looking at one at like Lowe's. Robert came home the other day. It was like $750 for this really beautiful canopy. And they had the sides that came down if you wanted to chill in the sun get out of the sun and it's marked down half price of three something so we might go get that um i'm gonna sign off for a little bit and let that water run and grab myself a drink i feel dehydrated enjoying enjoying my early morning um i've got some um essential oils burning in here this is my clean cotton candle from e yvette um over from Yvette Rini. Um, I've got a, this is a selenite candle and it has crystals and roses in the little tea light. Let me see if I'd show you. Um, I think you can see the little rose pieces. And then I've got my, my tower of, um, Oh goodness, I forgot what the name of that crystal is. Dang it, if I think about it, I'll let you know. And then I've got um, both this and this came over from the deco crated box and I have a jewel scent candle burning in that. Some flowers and you can see the steam coming out of my essential oils. Um, I just am up by myself this morning and I wanted to smell good and I wiped, wiped this whole area down as well. I've got my beautiful son and his wife and the baby in the background there. And I'm just enjoying this morning and the dogs are ready to come in and look clearly I need to take some time today and wipe down the glass because nitro puts his nose on it and his paws every day and I clean it and then it's dirty again <sighs> all right let me one more beautiful look and then I've got a oh and then look I've got this one over here too hi pumpkins she's been a good mama to the new baby kitty she's been the only one too she's been super super sweet and the baby wants to rub all up on her I think she's missing her mama so all right, guys, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got two masks down here. I was going to try one this morning. This one is a brightening mask. Looks like it helps with uneven skin tone, dryness, dullness, and uneven textures. I think I'm going to do this broccoli plumping mask, though. Um, this one is good for signs of aging, tired skin, and lack of vitality. So I think we're going to do this one. Um, who's this by? Dr. Huang Beauty Lab. I don't, I think this came in like a special Ipsy thing. 
Um, I've never tried these either of these. So I'm gonna keep this one down in the cabinet down here. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one and do a little bit of pampering and cleaning this morning. And then I have to run to the dentist um, because I think I have an infection now. So um, yeah, so we're gonna try this one out. Okay, now that I look like a monster, this stays on for 15 minutes, it says. There's a lot of Chinese on the back of this, um, but this is the one that I just did. So we're gonna chill out. It had a ton of serum in it, a ton. Um, it was like really quite a bit. So I kind of folded it down so it didn't get all of my, well, I got some of my hair anyway, but my kid, my cat's looking at me like I'm insane. The things we do for beauty. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so um, I just was refilling my water in these gorgeous flowers. These came from Enjoy Flowers, um, and these ones I paid for, but then my Vooks company that my company pays for that I just, from something I won at work, just arrived. So I figured I'd open these up. I have a vase, well, a pitcher. They're gonna go in this pitcher. Um, I don't know which service I actually like better. I'm actually still working on that. This just says, please enjoy your fresh bouquet assembled with care strip staped from the farm. Someone cares about you decided you deserve a, a bit of fresh beauty and that's fantastic. So those are, these are from work. One thing I can tell you automatically, I do like a lot about these ones is they give you two bouquets. I feel like I got this bouquet already though. Oh no, these are a little different you guys can see but they give you two little bouquets per bunch so you can keep them and you can put them like what I'm gonna do this time is just put them all in one vase or you can actually split them up and put them in two vases around your house so, so I do like that and that's from the books company I don't think these are even gonna need to be cut let's see I got some palm leaves in here I do have to cut this part and there's paper in here I need to get off. Okay, so here's what the bouquet looks like. So it's kind of, this one's kind of got like a little bit of a tropical vibe. Um, they definitely, the vase definitely needs the other one in this because this is too big for just one. But I like having fresh flowers in my home a whole lot. I really am enjoying that a ton. And um, now that I'm getting them, I don't want to stop. So I'll I'll keep you guys updated on which which bouquet. And these have these like curly things that I actually like better because that part I don't think I can tell you yet. All I do know is I, I like how they come in two little bundles. That way if it's a certain bundles I might use something in the bathroom. Alright, so let's get this. I don't know what these like little ball things are. These little, I have no idea, decoration. So there, so this just sort of looks like a tropical vibe. Maybe I'll put one of these red ones on this other side though. Cause we got red on the other side. So sometimes I'll just sort of rearrange them a little bit. There's a bird of paradise in here. There's two birds of paradise, three, no, three birds of paradise I haven't opened up. And really just a lot of pretty greenery and stuff in this one with little pops of color, so. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this beautiful thing in my living room. That's gonna be on the centerpiece for now. <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys later. I just wanted to show you that this just came in, bye. Oh, good morning, guys. It is early Sunday morning and I have project clean the kitchen today. That's my goal, to get the kitchen cleaned up and um, I should have Nadine West up for you, or not Nadine West, Natalie attired up for you guys today. Um, we got some possibly disturbing news about the new cat, which I'm upset about and worried about. She still hasn't gained any weight from two weeks now that we've had her, and they said she could have something called toxemia something, but they, so they're treating her for that. Um, that's treatable, but then if she has FIP, which is the other thing she's worried about with the cat because she's just so lethargic and doesn't move around. And she did throw up bile yesterday. Um, 
that is not something that's treatable. I had a cat with that a long time ago, and if they have that, that is a deadly disease. Uh, it is definitely terminal, and she will die. So say a prayer for her. We don't know yet. We're Right now, we're just watching her progress and seeing if she's eating, making sure she's eating, going to the bathroom, no more puking. You know, yesterday she did okay. She ate. Um, she didn't use the bathroom. She didn't do it. Oh, no, no, she did. She did a number two in the morning, a little one. Um, but she did drink. She did eat last night. She was a little bit more walking around a little bit more than normal. Um, yeah, so... Unfortunately, I wish I was ending the, this on a good note. Uh, my daughter is here today, so we're going to hang out, maybe do some gardening. I don't know yet. Um, but um, I'm going to close this out, and I will see you guys all next week. So um, you guys have a wonderful rest of your Sunday, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.